All right. So we're not actually moving on to SOPs yet. We're still um, <laughs> we're still in the chop realm. Um, so this yeah, this video is all about me saying M. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> all right, <coughs> we're gonna look at more interactive stuff uh, now. So the first one is uh, the keyboard in chop, and this one is uh, yeah. Uh, pretty straightforward and it's same with the mouse in so like uh, if I press um, 1 on my keyboard you're gonna see uh, this channel goes from 0 to 1 and I can add more um, keys here I can also add like um, not only the numbers also letters and if I press them then you know also, if I press A, this is going to turn active because uh, it's just a keyboard short shortcut. Uh, it makes sense to use numbers if you're like uh, working with, if you want to like make something active with your keyboard or something, then it's, it makes more sense to do that. Uh, anyways, <coughs> uh, we we could, for example, use this now um, when we. Uh, I'm gonna add a math here. And I'm also going to add a filter here, which we're going to look at in a second. And um, also, I'm going to just, I just want the one here. So when I press one on my keyboard, we just have that. Okay, now I'm going to bypass this for a second. I'm just going to use a circle here again. And let's just use this for the alpha. So when I press one, only then the uh, circle uh, appears. So um, <laughs> there we go again. So we, we want to map this maybe to like uh, like point point two maybe and one. So now it's never completely gone. It's just uh, lowered the alpha, and um, we might want to have a smooth transition between um, this off state and the on state pretty much. So that's why we use a filter. So right now it's pretty uh, extreme, so it's very slow. Um, I can turn this down to maybe like 0 0.3 and then it's a bit faster. And we can see what's going on when we connect this to a trail uh, with the middle mouse. And um, now when I press this you can kind of see uh, if I turn this uh, filter off it just goes straight up, straight down. And if I have it on, it just smooths this out a bit. And I can, if I turn this up, then you can see it really takes a bit to get up there and then s smoothly falls down. There's also different types of filters um, that we're not going to look at now. But um, yeah, that's a way to smooth out your signal. And so now we can see, yeah, we're controlling the circle of our keyboard. keyboard. Um, all right. so. Let's actually make this uh, into this different resolution again and turn down the radius a bit. Okay, so what we want to do now maybe is we want to be able to control the position of the circle um, with our mouse. So when I just move my mouse around like this, we instantly get our uh, X and Y position. So the mouse and is one way to do this. There is also another way to do this, but I'm not going to actually look into that right now. Um, let's just use a select here. And um, we just want to select the TX for now. I'm going to also add a math and a null. And um, on the math, I'm going to change this to what we did earlier, so like minus 0 0.4 and 0 0.4, or actually 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And um, now we just have to see <coughs> what uh, what works best here. So it's also 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, obviously, actually. <laughs> um, so we, we actually don't need a select. We can use the same, whoops, we can use the same math for both of them because we're mapping them to the same values. So now we can just take this one here, drag it on there, and same with the TX. So, um, oh wait, so this needs to be minus one and one actually. And now you can see it's kind of working. It's not perfectly working. Um, 
that's all right though like we um there, there as i said there's a different way and a better way to do this but it's it takes a bit of um <coughs> explaining uh for like containers and stuff so we, we're gonna look at that later but um this is kind of a way to to do this maybe actually no okay yeah anyways um this is a very simple way just just so you kind of get the feeling for um how chops work all right so that's uh one way that's like the keyboard and mouse in let's now look at uh, the midi in let's say i want to um control the the let, let's actually get rid of this and turn these back to, to just zero. Uh, let's say I want to control this not with my keyboard, but with a MIDI knob of a MIDI controller. So I have a Nano Control 2 lying in front of me. Um, I can go to the dialogs now. So, so there is a MIDI in chop here, but uh, it's, it's showing an error because it says could not open the MIDI interface. Yeah. So what we need to do is um, go to the dialogs and then select the MIDI device mapper. And um, now we can create a new mapping and then select um, the, the MIDI controller that you have selected, uh, like connected. Yeah, there we go. Um, there's also this thing called a MIDI map. I actually have a MIDI map for this, but I'm, let's not look at that now. There is, uh, I can link a video to that uh, by Matthew Reagan, which uh, explains this pretty well. Um, it's quite a, yeah, it's, it's kind of a different topic just for very basic MIDI stuff. Uh, the MIDI end is okay. Um, so there's nothing in there right now and that's totally cool. <laughs> extremely cool. Um, I can now turn a knob here. Oops. I, I, I turned uh, the wrong knob. Um, so I'm turning the first knob on here and, uh, here you can see the, the name it has. And here you can see the value. So usually it's always, uh, yeah, it's kind of the norm that you have a value between zero and 127. Um, so I can turn other knobs as well, uh, sliders, uh, buttons, stuff like that. They're just going to be added when you're using the MIDI in. So right now I just want to select the first um, one of these. So I just want to select um, the uh, 17 actually so I, I can just do that with the select go to this drop down menu and then select uh, 17 and now when I turn this knob you can just see it there uh, I can now map this with the math uh, so I type 0 to 127 here and now it's normalized to 0 and 1 I can now right click here and say reset min max so we can see this nicely okay so um, we had like uh, point 0.2 and 1 here. So let's do that as well. Um, and we can add a null here and then connect that to the alpha here. So now when I turn the knob, I can control um, the alpha. And um, we can also set this to 0. So I can completely kind of turn that off. Yeah, so that's a pretty simple way. We, you, you could do the same thing here. You can just copy paste this and here maybe use the uh, 18 and then map this to like, I don't know, minus 0.3 and 0.3. And now you could, um, with the second uh, knob, I could say like, say where, where, where the circle needs to go. Kind of just specify the position. Control, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Um, so this is already fun <laughs> and this is super simple so yeah uh, as i said have a look at the uh, at the midi uh, midi map midi in map uh, kind of looks like this it looks exactly like this and um, uh, if i have selected a midi map here then you can see all the sliders and um, uh, buttons and everything technically are um, already I don't know these aren't working so it's not actually working very well for this one but um, you can create your own MIDI maps um, so you can kind of already 
So you don't have the same thing as here, where where they just uh, where you're just adding them, um, but you already have the complete um, complete MIDI controller mapped to two, zero and one. But I'm not going to show you how to do that here. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this uh, episode. Not sure, if it's an episode, um, and uh, yeah, so. Have a have you go with like uh, keyboard in and mouse in, and we're gonna look at more elaborated way to do that at some point. And also, you can try out your different MIDI controllers. And if you have a leap motion, you can just drop the leap motion uh, chop in here, and you have all these uh, uh, parameters in there, and or like yeah channels I guess, <laughs> the word, and you can just add a select and um, yeah just I don't know if you want the finger one TX position we can use that channel in there and then map that to something alright so I hope this uh, kind of brings you closer to uh, the power of chops and um, yeah how you can use them and now we're like, we'll actually get to uh, sops and rendering. See you there.